YouTubers, this is Fire Alarm Man 458 here with System Test 9. Okay, I made two changes to the system. Plus, this is like the 8 billionth tank uh, take because my camera keeps quitting on me, so hopefully this one will go well. Anyway, this is uh, the first change. I've added an emergency shutoff switch by some company I cannot pronounce right now because it's probably in Hong Kong. So that's where I got it. Anyway, inside here, I'm not going to unlock it because I keep doing it and it's just too much trouble, which you don't, you don't think there's any trouble unlocking this thing, but there is, trust me. So, there's basically an outlet in here, which I plugged this panel and this board. I plugged both of those into this, which inside here has an outlet. This box, though, has actually been here since System Test 3. Or something like that. So I'm finally giving it a purpose for this emergency shutoff switch. Anyway, second change. I'll leave this here. Um, is I created a new alarm, the Ultra Warn Pro. Give it a close up. Um, it has a light on it, which is behind that little plaque that says fire. I painted the plaque white and with a red sharpie I well my dad actually he created fire on it and I thought it's pretty cool. Um and it's behind this little storm drain thing. I got it at home depot, don't worry about it. Behind that is a pizza. I call it a pizza even though it's like pizza or something. Whatever, it's my own language. Anyway I made a pizza from Radio Shack. It's really loud. It has a little noise volume dimmer thing, but I did it on full blast because I like things on full blast. So that's all there is to that. It took me a while to make though. That project's been on hold for a few weeks now, so I finally got that running. So now I will start system test. Nine. Okay. Panels in normal ready. So I guess I'll activate it from this push station. Here we go. Silenced. Woo! Sure gets hot in here. So, as you can see, the light is bright in the dark. Well, the camera shows it being bright, but really, it's not that bright in real life. It's noticeable, though. And this, all the strobes are flashing, except for this one, but the, that strobe is disconnected. Because I, I have a little problem with it, since it's real... It has a bunch of circuit boards in that alarm. Anyway, so the panel silenced, and I'm going to re reset my homemade pole station. Okay. Ah, this lock is very thick. Mm. I always like this one. And now we reset the panel. Alright, um, I'll set, I'll set this off again, except this time, wait a second, I'm going to set this off and then activate emergency shut off. So, Okay, so as you can see, the board just shut off, panel went into trouble mode, which is this little 
Oh, well, you can't see it with this camera, but there's a little battery sign on the light, which means that it's on battery power right now. So, now we will do about three, two steps. One step is to reset this. You have to reset the pulse station, because it'll go back into alarm mode if I reset the uh, emergency shutoff switch. Yeah. Okay. I found the keys. Okay. Now it shouldn't go into alarm mode when I Okay, so, ready, perfect, panel's in regular mode, and that board's turned back on, and since I reset the pull station, it reset it to normal, so now the old lights are on, anyway, thanks for watching guys, bye.